So I got a friend who's got an adorable little pug named Minnie and he commissioned a portrait of her. So that's what we're gonna be painting today. Got it right here. Gonna go through it step by step, sped up of course, because that would be very boring. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better faster. All right, so for a long time, I wasn't a huge fan of pet portraits. I, you know, would do them for commissions just for, you know, to make a quick buck or something, but I never really saw it interesting to me artistically. Um, that's pretty much because 95% of pet portraits that you see are not done very well. Uh, it has a lot to do with the type of photo they use, the style they choose to do, how they choose to show the pet. Uh, it took me seeing other artists that do it very, very well to realize how much fun they can be and also how challenging they can be. So w once I discovered how good you could make a pet portrait, I really enjoyed doing it and it's a new challenge that I really enjoy tackling with every new subject. Um, like the very first thing I learned was you can't just slap the pet on the canvas. Uh, a lot goes into the, the composition and it's very difficult to show the whole body of the pet uh, because when you do show the whole body, you don't just want it floating in space so you have to do the ground. If you do the ground, then you have to do the background. And if you have a background, it's gotta be a good background, but it also it can't take away from the portrait. So I really enjoyed and found that this style, which is used a lot for human portraits, where you have like a wash background, you stain the canvas with a neutral color, and then paint just kind of the bust of the, the animal that it works the best. You're not taking attention away from the dog's face. You know, you'll see a lot of pet portraits where, you know, it's just the grass below them because they're looking down on it or, you know, stuff like that. But I found this just to be the best. And also, I like having the collar on the pets. Uh, I'll get sometimes commissions. People will want me to like say, oh, can you take that, take the collar off? That's the, uh, like for the electrical fence or something like that. And you know, I will if they want to, but I, I really, I don't know, things that adds character to the dog, and it's, you know, if, especially if that's something the dog's wearing every single day, you know, that's how you're going to remember your pet. You know, you're going to remember that. Like, I remember I had a little schnoodle, part schnauzer, part poodle, and it didn't like going out in the rain. We had to put a little raincoat on it <laughs> to go out there, and I always remember it, it, it had, um, like, a little chain for a collar and it always jingle and like you know th those are little things that you do remember about your pet so I really like to capture those little things that really add to the character of the pet well I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on Instagram at Forza43 I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting